Matt, you're wrong. The whole thing is that we have to have a consensus on these. Oh, yeah, you're right. Matt, I will begrudgingly agree with you. We are going to angrily agree with each other because there have been some dumb controllers that have been made throughout the years. But there's also been some N64. absolute amazing controllers that have been th Dual made sense. throughout the years. So what we're going to do today is go through all the core console controllers, and we are going to put them in a nice little tier list. Starting with the first one over here, we have the N64. Oh, man. So no. if you had three hands, this would have been <laughs> S tier. But unfortunately for us mere mortals, we only had two hands. Do you hold it like this or like this? No, no, you hold it like this. Left hand, middle. Yep. Thumb on joystick. Yep. Right hand on the uh, arrow buttons and AB button. Because of ergonomics, I would say C. I could be persuaded for C, I lean toward D. I just, I'm gonna I'm gonna argue C because okay. this is this is our first one. If we're gonna be that negative that early, okay. You know, ooh. C ooh. tier. Let's go. C tier. What's the next one? Dual Shock. The original PS1 Dual Shock. I certainly have a fond attachment to it. It was a decent controller. Now, obviously, it got a lot better with the addition of Rumble and the Analog Six. I don't yes. believe the base model had Rumble. I think that was added with the Dual Shock. I want to say this is B tier. I, I could be persuaded for C, but I think even though this was not as good as its later version. Compared to something like, you know, like an SNES controller or Genesis controller, this was much more of the traditional modern shape of controller. They kept this design for, what, 15 years? I think yeah. it's for a reason. I, I'm going to say B. I'll give you B. The launch PS1 was just so plain. Because we got the, the analog stick one in the same generation, that's where I'm like, man. Well, we can talk about that when we talk about the <laughs> DualShock 2. Yeah, let's do that. Joy-Cons? Oh boy. How do we rank Joy-Cons? Here's the thing that's going to get me canceled. I don't like the Joy-Cons. I agree with you, actually. I like too I. Small. It's too small. Drift has been an issue since day one. Yeah. I'm okay using it as single Joy-Con kind of on the side, but even then, it's definitely a compromise. There is something to the fact that you can just snap them on, they charge automatically. Like, it's a really clever design. I wish they were a little bit bigger. I'm going to lean toward B... B? I'm gonna lean toward B. Oh, absolutely not. Where are you at? I'm just floating between D and C. The tech inside yeah. is what's on, the only thing that's protecting it to me yeah. from being an F. I think we've gone through double digits of Joy-Cons on the channel throughout the years. C at best. Okay, I can, I'll compromise with you, all C. All right, all right. Next up we have the Sega Dreamcast, mm, the chunkiest of boys. The problem is half the audience has probably never even heard of a Dreamcast. They were probably not even born yet. It's too wide. It felt like you're holding like a like a Tupperware full yeah. of mom's spaghetti. The combination of the memory card, which was also- The VMU is cool. But nothing cool. took advantage of it. It's cool though. I'm going to say D. I'll give you D. Okay. But- yeah, I, not I, good. Not good. All right, what do we got up next? DualShock 4. Okay, I love the DualShock 4. For context, I'm sure we're going to talk about some of the other PlayStation controllers, but this was the first true redesign of the PlayStation controller mm -hmm. since the PS1 came out in 1995. So when the PS4 came out, the DualShock 4 added a lot. I will say even to this day, I'm still not a huge fan of the sticks on the bottom. I like the Xbox approach of the I, offset I agree. Sticks, I agree. But it's totally fine. It had a rechargeable battery, something that a certain other wireless controller in 2022 could learn a thing or two from. From. I like the DualShock 4 a lot. Really, the only thing that dings it, and it's not even fair, is just that the Dual Sense is so good that it kind of makes the DualShock 4 just seem like a half step. But for its time, it was a good controller. I, I feel like we can't look at it that way, though. Yeah. I feel like we have to look at these things somewhat in a vacuum. Like, I would give this S tier. I'm leaning toward it, A. I, I will give it A. Okay. It, it's a great controller. I just, me personally, I don't like the joysticks both being on the bottom. It. To me, that feels weird. And I know that's not Lots what everyone thinks. feel thinks. weird, Matt, but yeah. sometimes you just got to suck it up and deal with it. You know what you got to suck up and deal with using this next controller, which is the, the Genesis. Set. Yes. This one was like great for fighting games. This yeah. It like, was sure. almost like specifically for Mortal Kombat. And stuff I never like liked that. the D-pad on the Genesis controller. I might be in the minority it's mushy. there. I do like the actual buttons and the layout. So if you're not going to have sticks, which obviously this was before 3D games were really uh, much of a thing, having your right thumb be able to do the sweep of all six buttons on front was nice. It was unlike... A a lot of the other co controllers of the time, it was actually designed for human hands and not like four fingers or something. I'm leaning toward B on this one. I'm going, I'll, I'll give you a B. All right, I'll give you a B. Pretty fair. Okay, yeah. B. I, I, I'm looking at our tier list right now. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I, again, I want to know what's going to be S and I want to know what's going to be I'm, F. Because I don't know yet. I don't know I yet. know. <laughs> I've got a couple of You know, for both. You, yeah. You've known <laughs> since the day you were born. I get it. Next up, we have the Xbox 360. I'm going to put my cards right on the table. S tier, no doubt. This was and remains to be one of my favorite controllers of all time. The only reason that you could knock me off the S tier perch is the fact that this was a AA battery 
controller. But 2005, I'm a little bit more okay with it compared to the newer. But I, this controller is so good. It's a great controller. Little small for my taste. I mean, I guess compared to the Xbox One of today, I agree. I like the feel of it. But for yeah. its time, this went up against the DualShock 3. I definitely picked this over the DualShock yeah. 3. There's a reason why this was not only the standard for console gaming, but it was also the standard for PC gaming as well. If you want to argue S, I'll give it to I, you. I, I think it's a low S. Oh. I think it's S A. Rock, paper, scissors. I'll go S, you go A. All right. One, two, paper, three. Two. Two. <laughs> yeah! S tier, right, let's S go. Tier. <laughs> Next up, we have the Duke. The Duke. No. Another chunky boy for a chunky boy. <laughs> it felt like you was you're holding a pizza. Like I've heard stories that apparently the engineers developed the actual like innards of the controller and then it was left to some poor product designer to figure out how to wrap the actual like shell around it and they're like oh here's what there's no way you can try to tell me that the duke is not f tier i know that they did redo it was it maybe hyperkin or someone hyperkin re-released it unless you're shaquille o'neal you're probably not going to find this controller helpful maybe some people have some fond memories but man this is hard f for me. i mean imagine throwing this thing at your little brother in the face you don't have a little brother anymore <laughs> You know what you do have still. And the S, okay, so this is exactly what we were just talking about. This was the, I don't know if S stood for slim or super duper good or whatever, but this was the smaller, slimmed down version of the Duke. Still nowhere near the 360. I think the 360 was like where Xbox controllers got good and they've been good ever My since. My kind of fine. issue with this entire generation of Xbox controllers was the button layouts were kind of weird of like trying to reach down and hit like the, the white and black buttons yeah. yep. was just, it was super it was awkward. Yeah. You know um, the big thing I'm gonna give them points for? Yeah. The quick release uh, cable. cable. Kids these days, you youngsters. Spoiled. You're like, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, wow. And then you rip your console off the wall. This here had Mom a quick release on here that would just kind of go poop. I'm gonna lean towards C on this one. Middle of the road, fine, big improvement, yeah, but not I'll, 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 I'll agree with C. All right, what is next? <laughs> the Apple Pippin. I'm curious to like anyone in the audience. Has anyone used the Apple Pippin in anything other than like a hotel or something oh, in the in yeah. like the late 90s? That's pretty much the only place that Pippins were really used was yeah. in hotels as like you could buy games or play games through the hotel infotainment system. If you're confused about why we're talking about an Apple Pippin, yes, it is from that Apple. So in the mid-90s, Apple went through uh, an, an interesting time. They they had some teenage growth issues. Ergonomically, it was horrible. There's a lot of extra controller sticking out of your hands in the back. Like, it just, you're just wrapping your like, hands If around. I had banana for scale, you know, I'd have a lot of extra banana in my hands. Well, don't we all have that problem? Uh, I'm going to give this one an F tier. You I'm, go like, F? I'm giving this one an F. All right, show me a real controller here. The Sega Saturn 3D pad. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've seen this in my life. Gun to my head, I couldn't even tell you that this was real. Kenzie, this is all you. What are we ranking this one? I have literally no idea. It looks bad, but I don't know. It did have like an analog stick, so that was kind of cool. Oh, on the Saturn. Okay, okay. This was like if you were carrying around a manhole cover. <laughs> but Oh, C. Five letters more than I would have given it. That's okay, D, because Matt is salty. No, 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 you already said C. Don't let him bully you, okay? I like, that, I like that you know how this works now. Moving on. The Xbox One, Matt. This is going to be a tough one. The Xbox One did make some key improvements over the 360. I do think it's a more comfortable controller. It's a little bit larger. To me, this Xbox One controller was my favorite controller of this generation. The Making DualShock a lot of good 4. points for an A. I No, I'm going to agree. I think A is a good spot for the Xbox One. Good, great Probably my favorite controller of the time, but still, I don't think it quite earned that S. I'm gonna so, say uh, yeah, yeah. We got some heavy hitters coming up. The DualShock 3. Uh, um, okay. Here's the thing. It was fine. Did you ever see the prototype? What was it? Uh, boomerang controller? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I think no. what happened was they were going to do that, and people said, oh, that's dumb. So they just grabbed DualShock 2 and slapped a new label on it. What did we give the PS1 controller? We give PS1 B. I feel like we got to give this one B as well. I'm actually leaning a little bit more towards C because it's basically the exact same thing as what came out 10 years beforehand. You really think this is B? Fine, I'll, I'll give you a C. I'll oh, give man, you a C. It's, it's a C. It's C. And then I when gotta... we argue, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play my my uh my you, card on you. You'll, you'll get you get one veto over me. All right, moving on to the next one. We have the NES. Oh, that's a tough one because this sucks. The problem was it was square, and I it was not comfortable me, to hold. Yeah. But like you had like if we take off our nostalgia glasses, yeah, it's bad. It's not a good controller. I'm gonna go with D. I completely agree. I'm glad you said it before I did. Yeah, because like the sharp edges were a not thing. Good. Someone's gonna be in the comments of like. Um, my entire childhood was built on this, and this controller is what set the, the stage for everything. Shut up. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's good, which is basically my life story. <laughs> so, 
let's move on to the next one. DualShock 2. This is a little bit of a tough one because while I'm not a huge fan of the 3 because it was the same controller, the DualShock 2 was also basically the same controller. <laughs> as much as like I didn't love the Xbox controllers and I had some fondness for the GameCube, I like this more than any of the other controllers of that generation. I'd lean toward B. I'm, gonna, I'm giving it B. I, right? It, it wasn't great, it, but it was certainly good It is still an good improvement. For time. Yeah. Moving on. And television. <laughs> F. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> Moving on. The Xbox Elite oh. S, S tier. S tier. Mm. S tier. S tier. S tier. It's too expensive for S tier. Uh, It's regularly on sale. You know what is also on sale? The controller that comes in the box that you have to pay extra for. I'm not going to argue with you. That this is one of the best controllers you can buy. S what I'm going to argue with is that if you are going to qualify as S tier, you need to come in the damn box. It's an enthusiast thing, right? Like To me, it's, it's a strong yeah, A tier. Yeah, that's fair. I like it, but it's so expensive. I'm pretty firm on A on this one. Hit you with this thing, though. The Wii Remote. Ooh. Where does this go, Matt? I gotta give it a C. The Wii a C? I'm giving it right in the middle. I'm including the nunchuck in this yeah, as well. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah. Um, which was kind of feed the purpose of the wireless that you were tethered to it. Did you ever throw one of these into your Never. TV? You actually broke a TV? Oh, we broke multiple TVs. What is wrong with you? Because we're like, how hard are you? When you bowl, do you bowl like this or do you bowl like Yeah, but I don't that? let go of the controller. I never threw my controller. I think the Wii controller is deserving of a B. Let me tell you why. Yes, it did not have rechargeable batteries. And yes, it was a little bit weird. But here's the thing it had motion controls, which really, you bought a Wii because of the controller, right? Well, can we talk about how expensive the motion bar was? I don't know if you ever did the trick, because when that thing inevitably broke, because it yeah. always did, because the wire was thinner than my mm. will to live what you would just do is you'd go you'd have to go out and buy candles and you put two oh candles <laughs> on the on the edge of the tv like I that's why i give it a trick. c versus a b i look i i feel pretty strongly that this is worth a b this sold 100 million wees i disagree with you i think really the fit sold 100 million wees no kenzie can you please give so us did, a so did that here? uh that i would still put it in b because uh this thing was like kind of revolutionary Thanks for backing me up. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, moving on. We've got the GameCube. This is a really divisive one because people love this or people don't care. I liked the way that the L and the R felt. It's way better than the N64 controller. I'll say that right off the bat. I'm just going to put my cards on the table. I think this is a solid B controller. This was far better than the Xbox, the Xbox S controller, and that's C tier. So I, I got to say it's got to be B. I want to do C on this. I think there's a, a world where this was the N64 controller, and yeah. they just said, you know what? Let's just swap the buttons around. It does come in atomic purple. A great color. We'll go, I'll give it B. Strictly because of the color. Yes. Okay. Right. I'm about to get in trouble. S tier. I love this control. I, I got to give it. It's S. It's, right? I, I, like, I, I, I playing gotta... Gran Turismo with the dual sense is by far the best racing game experience I've ever had. Feeling yeah. the, the emotion of everything. It's comfortable. Still has the touchpad. I think it looks good. I have basically no complaints about this controller uh, to me it is hands down <laughs> the very best controller on the market right now even above the elite in my opinion just because of the motion and everything i love this controller i can't argue with that i i it's a great controller i can't i can't i'm looking at our tier list though and i'm feeling good about this tier list tier uh list. people in the comments are like um you forgot to mention this one controller that only three people in the world use because it was only guitar sold hero guitar in hero a back ab alley in japan between the summer months of 1948 and... The disdain that you have for the audience, Matt, is something to behold. The Wii U gamepad. Oh, no. Hey, Nintendo. Hell no. Fuck you. Hell no. I can only think of two games that, yep. like, properly took took yeah. use of this. Mario Party, we got to be yep. Bowser and Cheat, and it was Batman uh, Arkham, Arkham yeah. where it was, like, your utility belt. If you look at it as a historical item that was a predecessor to the Switch, sure, makes sense. You look at this as an actual controller, it's trash, right? Not only do you have to stay obviously close to your Wii, it was not an actual like tablet that you could take with you. It had to be connected and got all of its video wirelessly from the Wii U. Yeah. Now they had like some TV functionality and stuff, but like it was unwieldy. Like I really, really disliked the Wii U. And the fact that we got the Switch, thankfully, means that the Wii U is essentially just relegated to the sands of time. This is F tier. This is easy F tier. This is F tier. But here's where I'm gonna be controversial. Okay. In the early era of, you know, pre 3D mm -hmm. games, this I think was the best controller that was ever made. It was comfortable to hold. Mm. It had like a great button layer. It gave you actually like extra buttons. This is where I'm like A tier, A tier. I, I will give you that it's not a huge difference. And if you want to veto, I'm happy. To I'm give vetoing you a. a tier. Okay. All right, A tier. I, I, fair enough. I won't argue that one. It is a good controller. Just not a great controller. Genesis is better. The Xbox Series X slash S. This is a little bit of a tough one because 
It's essentially the Xbox One controller. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Well, then no, no point in talking about that one anymore. A tier. It is a very good controller. If the DualSense did not exist, this would be probably my favorite controller you could get right now. Where it falls flat, I think, is the fact that it's essentially the same as the Xbox One, which to be fair, nothing was really broken. It's some like tweaks and If stuff. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let us know in the comments if you thought we were absolutely wrong about this tier list. What would you put at S tier? What would you put at F tier? Like, subscribe, follow us everywhere, and tell us your favorite game. Their favorite game is every game show we do on This Is, of course.